So there is a concept called as the language of a finite automata. So a language of a finite automata is nothing. It's a very simple concept. It's often written as the language of a finite automata. Okay. So this is nothing but it's a set of all strings. It is a set of all strings that are accepted by the finite automata. Set of all strings accepted by set of all strings that are accepted by the finite automata. So if you think of if you think about this, this is basically all the words W that belong to sigma star, right? Such that such that such that uh, W is accepted by such that W is accepted by your finite automata machine M. That's what it means. Or in other words, if you start with the initial state, which is Q0, and if you apply each of the alphabets or each of the symbols that are there in W, if this takes you to a final state, if this takes you to a final state, that's what it, that's what it means by accepting, right? So you can also write this as it is that word, it, it is a set of those words that belong to sigma star such that this is valid. Right? This is another way of writing the same thing. Very simple concept here. Now let's look at some examples to understand this better. Right? So for example, look at this finite automata. Okay. So this is my initial state. This is my final state and I have three states in total. And what is my input alphabet here? My input alphabet here is A and B. Right. So I my inputs my input string could could be built using a and b now i start here now let's look at some examples right let's look at my first word which is a so if i start from here if i use a would that be accepted no this is not accepted by my automata because i have not reached the final stage if if my w2 if my second word is b so i start here and with b i transition to q1 which is not a final state because q2 is a final state so this is also not accepted but what if I, I start here and I have B followed by A? I reach a final stage, which means this is accepted. Look at this example. Now this is accepted, right? So that, that's good. This is accepted. Now what if I have A, B, B, A? So let's see. I have A, stay here, B, B, A. So this is also accepted because I've reached a final stage. Look at this. If I use the transition function, if I start at the initial state by using my WI, if I reach Q2, which is a final stage here, then WI is accepted. Very simple. So what if I have, so if one thing you have to notice here, again, let's write down the actual language itself, right? So if you take a more complex example, let's look at this. A, A. So I start here, A, A, then B, 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 A. Yes, this is also accepted. What about this? A, B, B, A, B. This is not accepted. So one pattern if you have observed carefully is if you have B, A at the end, look at this. If I have B, A at the end, if I have B, A at the end, then those words or those strings are accepted by this. And that's fairly obvious. If I start here, if I start here, look at this. If I start here, if I keep getting A's, if I keep getting A's, I stay in the same state. If I get my first B, I go here. Now, from here, if I get one more A, look at this, if I get B A, so I saw some string and if I've seen B A, I reach the final stage. Now, if this is the end of my string, I would stay in the final stage. But if I get another B here, look at this, if I get another B or another A, if I get an A or a B here, I move back to other states like Q0 and Q1, right? But if I, if I keep getting B, so I got some input, I got B A, and if I keep getting B now, Sorry, I got, sorry, the other way around, right? So, suppose, imagine if I have, again, it's very easy to understand this diagram. Suppose I got some input, A, B, right? So, I got A followed by many, many, many Bs. I'll continue to stay here. The moment I get an A, I'll jump to this, which means I'm going to end with B, A, right? Look at all, look at, all, look at this whole transition that are happening. Look at all these cases, right? So, if, if your string ends with B, A, then you would you're guaranteed to reach the final stage for any other ending of the string and that's fairly obvious what is the smallest string that this will accept the smallest string that this will accept is b a right so now before in ahead of or in front of b a as a prefix if you have anything else it will still accept it 
So the language accepted by this is, again, we often write it this way. It's, this is actually a, a so shorter form of writing it. Anything followed by BA. Okay, again, this anything can be of zero length, of length one, of length two, whatever you want. This is often return, re represented using a star. A star basically means zero or more repetitions of everything in the alphabet. That's what this means, right? So this language is star BA, which means you could have zero or more characters or zero or more symbols from the alphabet, but it has to end with BA, right? So these are the words. These are the words that this language accepts, right? Very clear, right? And that's very simple. If you just follow the logic for this logic behind this finite automata, it's very simple to obtain this logic, obtain this language that is accepted by the finite automata, right? So the first example, let's look at another example. If I have this finite automata, right? What does this accept? Let's see. I'm in the initial, I'm in the initial state here. What is the simplest string that it will accept? If I have A followed by A, it accepts. So this accepts this. A followed by B, it doesn't accept this. Right? A, B, A. So I have A, B, A. It doesn't accept this. Right? A, B, A, A. A, B, A, A. It's accepting this. So one thing here you notice, one, one thing very important to notice here is, if my string is ending in A, A, Look at this. If I'm if I'm here, if I keep getting B's, I'll continue to stay in the same state, right? If I get A followed by a B, I'll come back here. Look at this, right? That's very simple. If I get two A's and if I get more A's, I stay in Q2. But the moment I get a B, I come back here, right? So this state basically symbolizes that I have encountered a B, okay? This state basically emphasizes that I've encountered one A. But after 1a, if I get b, I'll go back here. After 1a, only if you get one more a, you'll reach the final stage. Right? So if you look at a, b, b, a, b, b, it'll stay, it's not accepted. a, b, b, a, a, accepted. So this, this here is, again, your alphabet here is a comma b. And the strings or the language of this finite automata or all the strings that are accepted here are star a, a, because star here represents zero or more repetitions of the symbols that you have in the alphabet, right? The only key thing here is it has to end with A to be accepted by this machine. That's it. Very simple concept here, right? Let's look at more examples here. What about this? If I, if I have, let, let's look at this, right? If I have, if, if I just have my input as A, it's accepted. If I keep having more and more A's, it will be accepted. The moment I get a B, I come here. So if you think about it, what are what, what are all the stuff that are accepted by this? A is accepted. Okay. So A, B, A is also accepted. A, B, A is also accepted. A, A is accepted. A, B is not accepted. A, B is not accepted. So if you keep looking at all these examples, you can easily write, you can easily decipher that the language accepted by this is any number of symbols, any number of symbols, star A, right? Here star basically implies zero or more repetitions of symbols A and B. And A basically says it has to end in A. Because this state is keeping track of the fact that what we have encountered now is A. If this is the last thing that you encounter, you stay in this final state. Very simple concept here, right? Now, what about this? Again, I want you to pause this video here and think about writing the language for this. Just pause this video and think about it instead of directly going to the answer. Okay, so now let's see, let's see. So if I'm starting here. If I keep getting A's, I'll stay here. The moment I get one B, I go here. If I keep getting A's again, I stay here. If I get another B, see, if I get one B, I jump here. If I get two B's, I come here. If I get three B's, I come here. So if you have one, three, five, seven, odd number of B's, if you get odd number of B's, then you'll reach this final stage, right? So the language accepted by this is, the language accepted by this is words such that the length of B's in this word, which is often written in short form as this. Okay. So what does this mean? Again, let, let me explain what this means. This is basically given the word W, WB is basically the word, which is a subset, which is a, which, which is actually a, a subsequence of W, which consists only of B's. So for example, if you have 
A B B, right? Then W B is only the string which consists only of B's. Similarly, if you have A B A B, you W B is the string which consists only of B's, right? And if the number of B's equals to odd, such a string will be accepted, right? So very simple concept here. Similarly, let's look at the other example here, right? Again, here I wanted to pause and think about it before you watch the the solution here, right? So look at this. If you get if you get input as B, you stay here. If you get A B, look at this. If you get A B, you'll reach the final stage, right? Once you reach the final stage, if you keep getting any A or B, you'll stay here. So which means if you have a, if you have anything followed by A B, followed by anything here. Look at this. You have anything because if you keep getting B's here, you'll stay here. Right? If you keep getting B's, you'll stay here. If you get an A only, you'll jump here. Now, if you keep getting A's, you'll anyway keep staying in this loop. The moment you get something followed by A, B, followed by anything. Right? So, this will take you. So, this is this is the set of strings that it's accepting. So, if you think about it, you can write it as, you can write this, you can write this language as, uh, basically, it should contain a substring A, B. That's what it means. Okay? So, this is basically words w which belong to sigma star such that w equals to some x a b y where x and y are also strings which can be of zero length or more length right here x and y x and y could be words could be other words in sigma star and these words themselves could be of zero length or more length okay so what you are looking at here is basically words that contain a b as substring okay very simple examples here very very simple examples so there is a related concept called the concept of unreachable states just like the language of a finite automata there is also a related concept called as unreachable states okay let's look at some examples to understand this look at this i'm starting at q0 for all these examples let's assume that our alphabet is a comma b just for simplicity so I've started at Q0. Now whatever input I get, I'm going to continue to stay in Q0 itself. I will never reach Q1. Look at this. So Q1 here becomes an unreachable state. right? Q1 here is an unreachable state because whatever is your input, because you start at Q0, if you get A or B as input, you continue to stay here, which means you'll never reach here. Hence, it's an unreachable state. right? Number one. There are other examples. So here, here you even have an edge here. In this case, you don't have an edge. Look at this. You start at Q0. Again, this edge is useless here. This edge is also useless. Actually, this whole state itself is useless because you'll never reach here. Similarly, if you look at this example, you start here. Again, this is example 1. This is example 2 and this is example 3. So even here, you start at Q0. You, 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 if your input consists of any character like A or B or any symbol like A and B, you stay here. There is no edge also here. This could be a final state, but you'll never reach this final stage. This, so this is another very simple example of an unreachable state. You'll never reach this, so it's unreachable. Similarly, here, look at this. If your input is A or B, you stay here, right? Here, there are no final states also. Look at this example. There are no final states also here, but that's okay. There are no final states here. And still, if you think about it, if you think about it, you will never go out of Q0. So here, Q1, Q1 is also an unreachable state. Right? Some simple examples of what an unreachable state is. So similarly, let's look at the languages accepted by some of these machines. Okay, Simple finite state automata. So what is the language accepted by this? Let's write this down. What is the language accepted by this? You start in Q0. Okay, You start in Q0 and you don't have any other transitions here. No other transitions. Okay, So there is no, tra again, in all these examples, I'm assuming that my input alphabet is A comma B. So I don't have any transition. So if I get A, I don't know what to transition to. If I get B, I don't know what to transition to. I have only one state. This is my input state. This is, sorry, this is my starting state and this is my final state. So if you have epsilon, which is the empty string, right? Epsilon is accepted by this machine because you start in this state. Look at this very, very interestingly. You start in this state with epsilon, you'll be here itself and that's your final state. Hence the language accepted by this machine is epsilon, right? What about the language accepted by this machine? Look at this. If you have epsilon, it will accept this. Epsilon is accepted by this language, right? Because your initial state also is the final state, right? That's why it accepts it. Now, if you have A, it accepts it. 
if you have a a it accepts it if you have a b then it doesn't know what to do right so if you have epsilon a a a a a, a all of them it accepts very simple example again now let's look at this example slightly different example here right so what is the language accepted by this okay let's assume i start at q0 okay if you notice i don't have a final state itself q0 is not is the initial state q1 q0 neither of them is a final state so what is the language accepted by it because there is no final state in this case there is a final state which is the initial state itself hence epsilon is accepted by this by this machine here there is no final state if you don't have a final state a finite automata without final states the language is accepted by it is a null set or phi phi is a symbol that we use for null set remember empty string is different from null set right because null set doesn't even have empty string so this machine does not even accept empty strings because it doesn't even have a final state right so the key idea here is a finite automata without final without a final state without final states okay if you don't even have a single final state right accepts accepts empty language what is an empty language phi simple example here now let's let's look at let's look at this example let's look at this example right so here what do you have you have q0 look at this you have q0 here now you start here this is your final state you have a final state here right now on input a and b you continue to stay in q0 you'll never reach this this is an unreachable state your final state is an unreachable state so what is the language accepted here look at this you'll never reach this stage right this language it has a remember it has a final state but you will never be able to reach that so even in this case the language accepted is a null set because this can't even accept epsilon unlike this again this is very important example this exam this this finite state machine can accept epsilon because you're starting here and you're staying there here this can't accept epsilon because using an empty string you will be stuck at q0 you'll not go to a final state right this is a very important example now what about this language sorry what about this machine let's look at this machine now right so what is the language accepted by this machine look at this so i start here my initial state is also my final state whether you give me any input with a or b any input symbol i'll stay here so the language accepted by this is sigma star so every string that you can construct with a comma b including remember including the empty string is accepted by this right very very simple example so this, this the language accepted by this is sigma star the universal language itself what about this let's look at this what is the language accepted by this if you have epsilon remember this is a fine this is an initial state and the final state this is a final state right now in this case what happens if you give epsilon it will accept this if you give a you accept this you give b any string again this also has sigma star as the language of this of this finite automata because both these states look at this both these states are final states so this is one state with the initial state being the final state with all the transitions present remember there is a difference between these two here there are no transitions here all the transitions are present here also all the transitions are present here also if you notice this is a finite state automata with three states all three states being final states right the language accepted by this is also sigma star here because you start you start here if you give epsilon you reach a final stage you give a or b you reach a final stage see all transitions are here from this state if with a i can reach here with b i can reach here from this state with a i reach here with b i reach here from this state with a and b i reach here so every state is a final state and all transitions are present in this case every state is a final final a final state but all transitions are not present right so if you have a finite automata with all the transitions being present and every state is a final state the language accepted by such a final automata as shown in this example whether you have one state two states or three states as long as all the transitions are present and as long as all the states are uh, are final states the language accepted is sigma star very simple example here right so there is one more concept here okay let's look at this example also just just to be clear here okay so what is the language accepted by this automata you start here this is the initial state and this is the final state this is the initial state and the final state so the language accepts epsilon obviously given a or b i can i'll continue to be in the final state now if you notice this this is an unreachable state 
from Q0, you'll never reach Q1, right? So this is equivalent to, because this is an unreachable state, what you're left with is exactly this. And what is this? This is equivalent to this piece. So what is the language accepted by it? Sigma star, right? Very interestingly. Now, the key aspect here is every finite automata, every finite automata has exactly, accepts exactly one language, accepts exactly one language. We can exactly define the language accepted by finite automata, exactly one language. Okay, of course, the language can be anything from empty set to a set which consists only of empty string. Again, these two are different to the language itself could be the universal language. It could be all of them. Right. This this is one aspect of it. The second aspect of it is there is no un so there are multiple finite automata for a given language. Multiple finite automata can accept the same language. Can accept the same language. Can accept the same language. Right. Multiple finite automata. For example, this finite automata accepts sigma star. This finite automata also accepts sigma star. This also accepts sigma star. This also accepts sigma star. This accepts null set. This also accepts null set. So multiple finite automata can accept the same language. Nothing stops that. Okay. The only thing that is unique here is there is a concept called as minimal finite automata. A minimal finite automata is a finite automata with minimal number of states. With minimum number of states. Right. With minimum number of states. Minimal finite automata for any language is unique. For any language. For any, for any language here that is accepted by a finite automata, the minimal finite automata is unique. Like for example, for example, let's look at this. If you have your language as the universal language, what is the minimal finite automata for that? This is a minimal finite automata because it exactly has only one state, right? So if, if, if you have empty string, what is the minimal automata for that? Minimal finite automata. It is, it is just this with only one state, right? So I, again, if you want a minimal automata with uh, which which accepts uh, the null set, what would that be? Okay, that would be this, right? Just so there are no final states here, no final states, and hence it cannot accept any string, right? So this, so the the minimal finite automata that accepts a null language or a, or an empty language, it also has only one one state, right? So the minimal finite automata, minimal in the sense of the minimum number of states for any language is unique. So these are some basic concepts around, around finite automata and languages accepted by finite automata.